Today's Why Guy question emailed from Autumn. Why are highways numbered the way they are? Oh, hey, Autumn, great question. You know, we travel the highways every day and we probably never even wonder or think about why is it named I-5 or I-80? There was actually a system put in place in 1956 called the Federal Highway Act. Super highways were built to open up the USA to a new dawn of happy motoring. America on the move! Here's how numbers were assigned thanks to President Ike Eisenhower. Interstates running north-south were given odd numbers with the lowest number starting on the west, I-5. Heading east with I-55 in the Midwest, I-95 on the east coast connecting Maine to Florida. Interstates running east-west were assigned even numbers, with the highest numbers given to the north, I-70 and I-80, and the lowest east-west route in the south, Interstate 10. America's 48,000 miles of interstates have allowed for more travel and relocation to suburbs, particularly in the western U.S. If you look at the USA map as a body, the highways are the veins that allow our blood to flow. From Peter Kilborn in the New York Times, quote, the interstate is a linear economy on wheels, a distinct and self-sustaining 51st state, in a sense, that generates life and commerce. So the next time you're on I-5 or 80, know that some thought went into that number, and it wasn't just some random digit pulled out of Uncle Sam's hat. So Facebook viewer Kevin Scott Modesto says, why didn't I put 101 in there? Well, 101 is not an interstate highway. There you go, Kevin. If you have a Why Guy question, reach me at my Facebook page, Walt Gray News. You can watch more Why Guy stories at abc10.com slash whyguy.